In East Africa, a group loyal to the Islamic State seized a small port town Wednesday in Somalia's semi-autonomous Puntland region. A move officials say gives it control of a town for the first time since it emerged as a force a year ago. The group arrival to the larger Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab seized Kandala port after a brief fight with local security forces. African peacekeepers are not deployed in Puntland in the eastern tip of the Horn of Africa. Now, the Puntland appointed chairman of the town, Jama Mohamed Mumin, has confirmed to VOA that the town was seized by the Islamic State. Well, for more on the capture of the town of Kandala, I'm joined now by VOA's Mohamed Olad. Mohamed, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you, Sir Vincent. Yes. Now, uh, first, just help us understand uh, who are these people? What is this group? Well, uh, these people emerged uh, a uh, year ago when they said publicly or year and a half ago almost two years when they said we are part of uh, the new branch of, Al of isis in somalia before they were members of al-shabaab uh, it's led by sheikh momin who mm. is uh, who was the leader of al-shabaab militiamen in the mountainous area of puntaland area and now they and then they climbed they are they gave their allegiance to al, al uh, isis and we remember that when they were Announcing that they are part of ISIS, they uh, disputed with Al Shabaab leaders. Al Shabaab leaders were saying, "We don't want to break the allegiances we give to Al, uh, Al, Al Qaeda," and these guys wanted to go to ISIS, and that's why they went out of the main Al Shabaab controlled lands in southern Somalia mm -hmm. to this mountainous area, on the close to the uh, uh, Red Sea in in Puntland. Now we did mention that uh, there was just a small fight. Uh, what is the size of the town and how significant is it to Puntland? Well, the town is a basically a remote uh, town uh, in, in a mountainous area close to the Red Sea uh, where fishermen, is, uh, most of the people in the, in the town are fishermen. And these guys want only to say that they are in control of one of the towns in Somalia. And this is the first time they announced publicly that they have taken control of a town. This, strategically, the places will allow them when they see a larger military forces from Puntaland coming to them, they can simply run away through the sea to other areas in the, in the, in the, in the east. And the, the reason they choose there is because they can survive before military, any other military force comes there and kicks mm -hmm. them out. Yes. Now, as far as uh, we know, have they launched any attack before in Puntaland? Uh, basically, they they climbed several attacks in Puntaland area, but nobody confirmed they were behind it. And the, the tendencies of, of militants in Somalia are when th something happens, nobody climbs, they, yeah. they jump in and say, we did it. it. Yes. Uh, and that's what we have been seeing in Al-Shabaab control areas or in government control areas. When something happens, Al-Shabaab says, we did it. Mm -hmm. Now, very quickly, um, yeah. what are the government officials in Puntaland saying? What, what is the next move? Well, uh, this similar things happened last year when Al Shabaab milit mil militants moved into Puntaland area, the same coastal area, into towns, and uh, Puntaland regrouped themselves and just brought military of, uh, hardware and kicked them out. So we're expecting the same thing to, do, uh, to to happen, but the significance of this is that ISIS militiamen, uh, militiamen claiming to be linked with, uh, with ISIS, are now having control of a small town in Somalia, and the re the reason is not because they can take control of there, but they want to say we are here. And, and, and the good example is that Al-Shabaab has been taking control of areas in southern Somalia when Ethiopian troops withdraw. Uh, so these guys say not only Al-Shabaab are active in Somalia, but also we yes, are, are here, we can take control of a town. We'll be watching, we'll be watching developments Thank there. you so much. Mohammed, thank you very much.